This security story brings us to a residential community in Dover, Delaware, and to a typical home. But typical it is not. It's actually a great piece of the Advantech puzzle, the home of Doug Peterson. Doug, how are you? Good, Tony. How are you? Good, good. Doug, besides living in your home, uh, what do you use it for? Well, I like to bring my home, work home with me sometimes, and uh, I've been testing some products that Honeywell has sent us for uh, beta testing, and okay. I like to play with uh, the different products that we sell, see if I can push the envelope a little bit and give our customers some custom stuff. But you enjoy it. You're like a tech oh, guy, aren't you? I love technology. <laughs> All right, show me some stuff. What's this is the new bullet camera. It's an IR camera, meaning that it's infrared lighting. It's a completely sealed unit. So okay. you don't have to worry about moisture getting in there or even an installation not being done properly so you get moisture. All the controls are external so you can adjust the focal, also the wide angle. You put a title up there if you want to call it camera one, driveway camera, whatever, and it'll display that right through at the, the video. Camera. Right at the camera. Oh, that's great. That's nice design. It's very nice because you're not having to open up a housing mm -hmm. to get to the controls. It's all right there. Great. It took and me about 15 minutes to mount that camera and get it focused. And you said it's an illumination? Yeah, it has. Explain that to uh, me. Does it make it? During, like right now, it would be color. Okay. Uh, as it gets close to dusk, it switches over to black and white. And eventually, when it gets so dark here, then the illuminators kick in. And then it's it, it, it actually can see infrared. So you get really? an image that's black and white, uh, almost like daylight. Wow. Uh, it's a great camera, yeah. So what would be a typical application for this camera? I mean, where would you install it? We could use this camera like I am here uh, on a residential situation, or uh, we have put them in actually in commercial settings. Uh, schools on the outside of the building, uh, a room that maybe is too dark and okay. you want to use this camera for the illumination. Um, we have a couple of them at the office were actually inside in our stock area, so okay. they work good for that. Sounds like a good application. Mm -hmm. So what else do you have to show me, Doug? Well, on the front of the house we put in, uh, on the soffit, we put in a mini dome camera which can look at the uh, front door area. Yep. And it also can be displayed on the Symphony keypad so my wife can see who's at the front door if she wants to answer it. She can or she can just ignore it. Oh, that's nice. I see it right there. That's the little guy right there. Now that's not an IR, it's just low light. Okay. So it'll switch over to black and white at night and actually there's a light over there, the street light. And these two little lights here is all the illumination it gets and you still have an image that you can detect who's out there. Wow, that's a nice feature. So can I take a look at what it looks like inside sure. on the symphony? Come on in. Wow, I like this. Nice digs, Doug. Thank you. Symphony. This is the sim one of the symphonies, and we can bring up that video from the front camera right here. There's the there shot of the front porch. You can also touch the screen and get one of the other cameras. So there's the driveway. Okay. And then the garage. Nice. 75? 77. Okay. Uh, do you use the internet feature? Yep. Okay. Um, if you go to home, you can get back to the internet. On the weather tab, I can uh, check on the weather in New York before we're going to my parents. You said Boston Spa, and it'll bring up four or five day forecast for that. That's great. What else do you have? What other gadgets do you have going on here? Plenty of toys downstairs. Would you like to see those? Sure. I'd love yeah. to. One. After you. Douglas. Well, you've been hard at work back here. Yes, this is the nerve center of the house. Here we have the Berg panel, so the Vista 128, and uh, expander box, which has some extra zones, the power supply for the symphonies and the cameras, and the structure can, which distributes the cable TV and telephone. We have a Vista ICM, which was just released on Optiflex, mm -hmm. which distributes the video to the symphony keypads, our Fusion DVR. Tony, I mentioned earlier about the beta testing on this side of the basement. This is the GSM radio we were sent to beta test. Um, neat thing about this is if you can tell I have poured concrete. Pretty sturdy here. I picked the worst location for my cell phone to get a reception. It's very weak right in this spot. Hook this guy up, full signal strength. Wow. Never had a problem getting through to the central station. So it's an awesome radio, good product that, that, that Honeywell's come up with to replace impressive. the old radios. That's very impressive. Hey, I'm loving all this technology you've shown me. Mm -hmm. And I know you love technology too. Yes, I do. There's one piece of technology that I'd love to get more time with. Okay, what's that? It's in the garage, that's 75. 77, Trans Am? Yeah. 77, Trans yes. Am? Yes. Can I have a ride? Sure. Ride, let's go. Okay. Cool. I hope you've enjoyed the home sweet home version of Security Stories as much as I have. And I'd like to thank my friend Doug Peterson from Advantech for allowing me to come into his home laboratory. But now I'd like to thank him even more for giving me a ride in the 77. 
Trans Am. Thanks for watching. Let's go. Okay. Thanks, Doug.